Hey, Marty here, and I want to talk about five steps that can simplify the publishing process for yourself. Just to make things easier, just to have an overview of what you should be doing, like step after step, right? All right, so the very first step is to create your account on www.kdp.com. You want to go there, you want to create your account, sign up. And then when you do create it, you need to fill out your account information. You need to fill your account information because... You can't publish your book without doing that. So that's very important to fill out your account information. Just going into a little bit more detail. It's going to be your banking information and it's going to be your tax information. And if you're not in the United States, you can go to the file section of this group and find a pioneer method that will help you get paid from Amazon with a direct deposit if you do not live in the United States. All right. So that's the very first step. Get your account created, get it out the way. The second step is your market research. You're going to go to www.amazon.com to conduct your market research. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is go on the left-hand side, go to the categories, and just search through all the categories. We need to find a category that's profitable and has low competition because you want the money to go through and you need some competition to show that there's money, but you don't want too much competition where you have to throw so much money just to get started. We want to avoid that. We want to get started as cheap as possible and make um, something happen for a brand new author, brand new pen name. Okay. So that's what we want to do. So you got to go to the market, find a category that you want to jump into. You're going to look at the number one bestseller and the number 100 bestseller of that category. So here's the criteria for that. For number one bestseller, you're going to look for 2,500 and below going down. So anything under 2,500 is showing that a lot of money is going into this category. So the lower that number goes, the more money is being generated or flowing to that category for number 100 you're going to look for 25,000 and up now <clears throat> excuse me 25,000 to 50,000 is a sweet spot you really want to find something in between that now 25,000 going up kind of shows the competition of that category. So the higher that 25,000 goes, the less competition, the lower the 25,000 goes. So let's just say it's going to 25, 24, 23, 22, and this keeps going down. That means more pressure is being applied. That means more competition. You want to avoid that. You want to go, you want to go high with the hundred, but you don't want to go too high because remember, have, not having competition, could be a bad thing. You know, that means money might not be in that category. So you want to watch out for that. So 25,000 to 50,000 is a sweet spot. So after you do your market research, you find a category, you go look at the number one bestsellers. All right. You can take the top five, you can put them to the side, bookmark them or whatever you want to do. And those are the ones that you're just going to be modeling modeling, not copying, modeling. You're going to take those sellers. You're going to study them. You're going to look at their cover. You're going to look at the title. You're going to look at the description of the book. You're going to look at the reader reviews. You're going to look at the page numbers. You're going to look at what else? The pricing of the book, you know, even click the book, look inside it and look at the table, uh, the table of contents because it's going to show you a lot of information that you should know. All right. And then that's the kind of stuff you're going to be writing all this information down and getting your game plan ready. They already paved the way for you. So it's just right. The model of something that's already successful. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to model that something that's successful already and just keep it going with that. All right. So whenever you have all your information, your market research, you got the best seller that you're modeling. Then you want to go on a site like Upwork.com and start uh, hiring ghostwriters and a graphic designer and an editor. So you want to make some posts for that. You want to make a couple of posts. You don't want to just make one. You want to make a couple because we want a bunch of people to apply for the post or right, for the job. The more people, the more options and, you know, the better the percent is you will find someone for that position. So that's what you want to do. When you do find people, you go ahead and just send them over to people that you're modeling. Show them your vision. Like, for example, you're a graphic designer. You can just copy and paste um, the best sellers that you're modeling from the category and just send it over to them. Let them see. You want to share the vision. The best thing you can do in this business is to try to share your vision with your team. So they have an idea of what kind of content that you want. You are making content for a certain audience. So the more they understand 
the audience that you're trying to make content for, the better they can create content for that audience, you know? Okay? So after you hire a team and stuff like that, you put everything together, you got everyone working, and then they finally bring back that book. And now it's time to publish your book. But first, before you publish, you got to format it. So you can just go through the course, and we have easy formatting. You can just do it on Google Docs or Word, uh, Microsoft Word. It's just super easy, and it's free. And you just format it, and then we upload it on Amazon, and then we publish the book. And after you publish the book, then it's going to be marketing. That's the next step after publishing. Marketing your book, email marketing, Facebook marketing, and even paid promotion. That's what you're going to have to get involved into. You're going to have to learn about Facebook. Facebook is not as hard as it may seem. In the very beginning, it almost looks like Chinese. Like when I, whenever I first started, I was like, holy crap, this is almost like Chinese to me. But after you just get in it and you really learn it and you start simplifying it and breaking it down, you're going to see it's not that difficult. And just like email marketing, it seems like a lot. It seems like, wow, I got to get like 10,000 people or just, a, well, let's just say a thousand people on my email list. And the reality is you can just sign up in a promotion. You might be able to get that in one go, you know, a thousand people on your email list that easy. Now you only really see how easy this stuff is whenever you get started. And that's one of the biggest steps. That's, that's probably should have been the very first step is getting started and then creating your account, right? Getting started. You have to jump in. You just have to go do it. How can you take a shot and make a shot? Like I'm thinking about basketball right now. Like, you know, just shooting for it, shooting for that goal, trying to make that point. How could you make that point and win the game if you didn't even shoot? You won't. You just, you'll just be sitting on the bench. You'll be sitting from the outside watching the individual that are taking the shots. And we're not going to be spectators in this life. We're going to get up and we're going to do it. We're going to go hard and we're going to make this happen. So it's just going to come down to really learning these steps. So I'm just going to go recap over these steps one more time. It's going to be the very first step is creating your account. The next one is market research. The next step after that is hiring a team on Upwork. The next step after that is publishing your book and along with formatting, of course. And the last step is marketing your book. Those are five steps just to simplify the process. And then after you finish that fifth step, it kind of just goes right back to the market research for your next project or your next book or your next series, whatever you want to call it. And then it kind of just starts all over again. Then boom, rise and repeat. Goes down, goes back around, down and goes back around. It just keeps going. So I hope you got some value out of this. I hope this helps. And we're going to see more or just random pop-up videos like this. Like I said, I hope this helped and we're going to see you in the next one.